Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate. And first thing I'm going to do is check the stage code, because apparently this is something I didn't do previously. Um, unfortunately, I'm really at the point now where I cannot take level 4s on. We really need to push forward into the level 5s. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably tweak the mod to make sure we get some more level 5s coming in. At the minute, I've got it level 4s and 5s only, but we really want level 5s because we're, we're at the point now where everyone pretty much apart from protocol is actually level five so we don't want to um regress but what we're going to do first off is we're going to go and check our um our treatments and our uh our quirks and do some treat uh, do some quirk treating we really need to take a little look over our uh, over our crew and make sure that everyone is um everyone is has got the best quirks he can so first let's look at the healer and see if there's anything here um Anything that we really want to keep on her. I don't think any of those are particularly bad or good. We're really looking for the characters that are going to be... That we're always going to have with us. Or hopefully always going to have with us. Um, in the sort of darkest dungeon quests. There's four of them. So, and we want to be making sure that we remove all the annoying ones. So cheerful plus uh, ne and, um, negligent are two really good ones already there and i think josephine crowley might end up coming with us will june is definitely someone that's going to come with us so uh that's definitely a great one um minus 20 stress if torches above that's really good um yeah i think we go with that we'll lock that in and honestly none of these are that bad but i think we'll uh we'll get rid of that anyways Actually, let's get rid of that. And, yeah, we'll lock you in. Will, someone that I definitely want to make sure is in a good position. Uh, I've got a few people that I've that I've kind of got lined up for the Darkest Dungeon. And I want to make sure all of them have their quirks sorted. Uh, so, another person that I really want to have a look at here is Ronaldus. Um, Ronaldus, sorry, wherever he is. I don't even think he's level 6 yet. No, he's not. We do need to get him to level 6 before we do that. But, um... I think plus 15 damage against extra size enemies is great because he already gets bonus. And yeah, we'll get rid of that as well. Let's lock both of those in. We'll level him up soon as well. Uh, and then let's have a look at who else we need. Basically, healers are kind of the good ones. Renault is also great. We've already, already got Precision Striker knocked in there. Um, we do want to get rid of Filthy. And... Honestly, plus 25 pre resist. I don't really know if any of them are particularly good for us. Improve stress reduction while meditating um, and while camping. I guess that's decent. Um, while while camping seems very good. Uh, Filthy's really annoying here. I think I definitely want to get rid of Filthy. Let's uh, let's lock in Contract Killer. We might be able to get some bonus out of that. So there you go. We've got all of them locked in. And we'll uh, sort of move on with that as we go. But let's see who we want to actually bring out. Uh, onto our team again. We want to go with level 5s, of course. And we want to try and get ourselves uh, a a medium level 5 mission is kind of the, the ideal here. Uh, medium level 5. There's a medium level 5. And uh, something for the Philomat here as well. So let's let's go with this then into the wield. And let's see who we want to bring with us. I think um, first let's check... <laughs> I do apologize. First let's check who we, who we kind of know we might want to bring into the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, Lumen is someone that I definitely think could work. Um, the first flame, indeed. Uh, Lumen could be very, very good, although Lumen has no skills right now, which is kind of weird. Um, that's kind of odd. I don't know why Lumen has no skills. <laughs> We're going to have to spend quite a lot of money to upgrade Lumen at the minute. But would it... I'm, I'm trying to think of how worthwhile this would be. Um... Maybe we won't level up Lumen this time around. We'll wait until we've got a bit more, a little bit more money here. Uh, we could go with Herbert. Herbert's not really been out too much recently. Uh, we do need to go on and do our Colors of Madness stuff as well, so that would also be good. Um, do you know what? Kaminari hasn't been out in a while. I like the idea of bringing Kaminari out. Um, and honestly, Trell as well. Trell, Trell hasn't been out in a little bit too, so I think these two could be great uh, to, to sort of fell the front line. And then let's see who we want sort of in the back line doing a little bit more work from there. Let's see. Um, don't think you. Who who would be good for this? Joseph Hare. He's a healer that we haven't got up to level 6 yet. I think that'd be great. And then um, 
I do wonder if we could maybe do something with um, Inosaka here. And we got the sweep, the sweep kick, although doesn't work too well. Oh, well, the flame gout, we could maybe use that. Sean's an interesting one. Canis, I don't think can do too much from the back, and she does push herself forward quite a lot. So that could be slightly frustrating. Maybe not then. Um, it's hard to decide. Chasey might be an interesting one. Uh, Chasey's always useful for reducing incoming stress and dealing that extra damage when we need. The only thing is she, she moves into the front line again and it'll knock off our backliners. Uh, Void Walker, uh, I think he has some stuff that he can do from the back line, doesn't he? Um, he can... Minus 5 death blow resist chance on... That's not on self, that's on the enemy. I don't really know how that works. Uh, so, let's just build it for the back line. Let's go with this. So, you can go here, I believe. Although, you may, you're on primarily in the front line there. So, let's go with, like... Yeah, let's go with that. Clear corpses... And what's the one thing that you can't use from the back? Oh, that's that. Okay. Uh, let's spawn the homunculus then. I don't really use that that often, but that might be quite useful. And then let's bring Voidwalker. And he can he can go with that. He can go with Enfeeble, which is a nice stun. Uh, it is also going to mark the target. A little bit lower HP to him. Give to the living is uh, basically health trade. And then we can go with... Withering Chant here for armor piercing. It is going to re reduce his healing and heal himself. Um, but the Grasp seems kind of a bit better here. Uh, all of this stuff kind of trades his HP away, so we do have to be careful with that. And I think we play into that with um, Kaminari here and go with the Mantra, maybe? Hmm. So a value of 25% HP, that's going to... Um, Heal for 2 to 3, heal 23% of maximum HP, and minus his HP and give him a bit of healing. Yeah, I don't think we want that. I probably think we probably really want to go for this. This all skills is like mantra, plus 1 HP healed. Interesting. And then we'll mainly go with these two here. The dragon, the dragon tail and the howling fist are going to be good together. I think they're going to work quite nicely. And then we can use this to activate our repost here. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's build up our... Um, Let's build up our crew's trinkets, shall we? So first of all, do we want to do anything with your healing with this? Um, I don't think so in that regard. I think we want to go for... This guy doesn't have any party heals, does he? No, he doesn't. So I think what we want to do for you is we want to give you the syringe and then give you a flat healing buff of some sort. In fact, why not just give him his trinket that gives the flat healing buff? 20% is not... Something Senna knows of that. Although, saying that, I'm actually going to give him some prot because his, his HP is kind of low. But I think prot will actually do him a little bit better. Where's the husband's heart? There it is. Husband's heart super useful for just some free prot. Um, then I think we go with Kaminari here and we give him the last light rather than rather than that because we've got an, we've got a party heal here. So I think last light works really well on you. And I think we give you some... Um, I think we give you some prot as well, actually. There you go. Um, that buffs your prot up to a nice level. And then Trell here, he's already already very healthy. So I think Trell, we go for full-on damage. He has a lot of things that are going to cause uh, a bit of extra bleed and such. But we really want to go with the obliterate sort of strategy here. So I think going for all-out damage is going to be the best way forward. So I think we go with that. And then we are going to the wield here. So we'll be fighting a lot of beasts um, but it's, it, it kind of, there's a lot of things we could be fighting down here. So maybe that's not the best route to go. Could go with that. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. I think that looks good to me. Uh, this should, this should provide us with a good amount of buffs. And then Voidwalker, he has quite a lot of damage. I think we want to buff up his stun maybe. Um, his stun chance would be a good one to buff up. Let's have a little look. See, first of all, let's just sort our trinkets a minute again. Eight accuracy temper up. Hmm. Right, we don't really particularly need crits with this. Ooh, what I should do is put that on him for more prot because his health is low for, for a starters. When we're going to these later on missions, we really want to be careful about how much prot people have and stuff. I think that's very important. He could just wear two helmets here. Gladiator's helmet's insane, actually. Do you know what? I'm going to go with that. that. That makes him really, really tanky. 
Um, those two helmets are going to be good for us. Then let's quickly just go back and make sure everyone is fully upgraded. We sort by level. Make our way back to the top. Back to the top. And then, yeah, so we want to go boom, boom. Boom, boom. You the same. Yeah, same skills as always. Void Walker. We go with the ankle grab. And the front three, I think. Yeah, front three. Everyone needs the upgrades this time. And then these three. And then Monculus. And then everyone needs their armor. Quite a lot of money spent on these guys. But we need them leveled up anyways. Everyone's getting their uh, level six gear going. And then we embark. Make sure we're going on the right quest, of course. Medium. This should level up everyone, I think. We might want to do the long one, actually. 90% uh, of rooms. Long champion mission. Hmm. I want to do a champion, a long mission, but I think a medium's better off because it means we can get more. The weeks pass a bit quicker. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's best for this. Um... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the long one. I'm gonna do the long one. One moment. I'm gonna do the long one. Let's try it out. Provisions. I think we're good to go. I think everyone's ready. We grab all the food we can. Grab six shovels. Eight of these. Actually, ten of these. Ten of these. Ten of these. Ten of them. All of them. And I'll grab a few of them. Why not? And we embark. We go. See how we go here. See how we go. Hopefully this doesn't go too badly. I think this group is pretty is pretty set and ready. I, I don't think they should have too much of a problem. But mainly I went for the long one because it guarantees we get to level 6. Which I wasn't sure of with the other guys. But mainly with this, it more so... Gives us a better trinket. Like, I think the trinket there was just way more ideal for us. Um, having that ancestral one that gives us the bonus to rage skills is very, very nice. I'm very uh, much looking forward to putting that on uh, our arbalist or something. Aurora. I knew all these Let's push once. forward. So, this is just exploring 90% of rooms. Unfortunately, two shovels right off the bat, which is annoying. I'm going to dip out on one of them. A treasure is straight off the bat as well. Hello. That's kind of good. Um, I think we want to activate repose straight away. Set that up. Then. So that would deal eight damage across. I'm going to do this and go for the stun. Ah, unfortunate. Another hit on you. This is good. We're getting a lot of hits on him so far. Wow, we killed him straight away. That's great. Everyone hit. Back to back to back. Void Walker here and Trell, I feel, have a, have a little bit in common, don't they? They're going to have uh, a bit to talk about. Go for another kick on you. We'll go for a decay this time. But good. And we'll go for a stun on you as well. I love the, the fact that that's got a built-in stun. It's very useful. Taking a bit of damage here, but this is where we'll go for our first... Um, we did actually get that uh, repost there. But this is where we'll go for our first... Um, Last light heal from uh, Kaminari here. I think that'll be good. I'm actually going to do this to try and get rid of the body. Just to get it out of the way of... There we go. Makes things a little easier for us across the board, I think. Oh, unfortunate miss there. People are going down quick, though. People are going down quick. So we do a mantra here. It debuffs him with the uh, less damage and everything, I think. Is it less damage that, that does? Yeah. So it debuffs his damage. And, um... Oh, it does It does buff his crit by a lot, though. It does buff his crit. All, all skills except repose get 100% crit for one round. That's really good. There we go. We finally got the stun. Void Walker doing a great job there. And finish you off. I should finish you. Yes, it does. Nice one. And then you should be dead as well, actually. But either way, we'll slice you one. Oh, do you know that trinket that we were going to go for last time? We just got it. 
We literally just got the trinket we're just about to go for, so this worked out fantastically. I will not be touching that, thank you. The way is lit. The path is clear. Um, do you want to eat up a little bit? The strength to follow it. Good, good. Right. Courtyard enemies, of course. Shouldn't be too bad for us, I don't think. I'm going to go for this and see what sort of damage we can do there. It's actually pretty good damage. I don't know. Uh, uh. So they deal less death blow chance to us. I think that's what that means. Get the repose going. You go in with... So inner fire, actually. Let's do inner fire. It self heals us, but it gives us pretty big buffs and activates repost. That's two two members of our party with repost. It's pretty good. Bleed both of you. Bleed duration received is rather nice. The first coming in a void walker. He can resist it though. He can resist it. There'll be no disease for him. What did I say? What did I say? I knew void walker was there. Uh, made of strong stuff. I knew that wouldn't be a problem for him at all. Skew coming in. Voidwalker's taking quite a lot of hits here, but I think he should be okay. Okay, the first Trell, again, he's resistant to it. He's had it once before, I do believe. But, I will say, I do think uh, Joseph's kind of... Could succ he could succumb to it. Right, go for the party heal. Everyone needs it. A brilliant confluence of skill. And then infusion. Heals you for a good amount. Okay, we get that repose there. That's nice with that bleed. Very high bleed, actually. Very, very high bleed. And that comes in nicely with this. And gives us 40% bonus damage. Really nice combo there. Another repose into a bleed there. Very nice. Deafening line. The stress levels are going to get a little high here, but I think for the most part we can deal with them. The stun, however, is very annoying. These guys are going to keep healing up off of us. That's the problem. In comes the bleed. I think, yeah, both will resist. These guys, fairly resilient to blight, actually, so we don't want to bother blighting them. Let's just go for a heal on Trell. Nice big heal. Nice chunky heal. And then you can get in there and go for a kick. Nice one. Guaranteed crit on that turn. And getting a kill on that apparently heals everyone. Interesting. Nice hit on that bleed damage as well. Really nice combo here with um, with our alchemist, Joseph Hare. Really, really nice. And then a stun maybe? Nah, unfortunately. It's kind of hard to get the stuns off in this guy. Trell. Trell doesn't really care about bleeding, I'm not going to lie. Nineteen healed, great. And there you go. That's what you get for making him bleed. He comes back with a vengeance. Another skewer coming in. Nice dodge. Nothing to it. And you're down. Easy kick to the face. I think Trell, you can go with this. This is a stress heal. Uh, yeah, you can still go with that. Only did six. Probably should have done it on you, but it's it's a difference of four. It doesn't matter. Right, it's 90% of rooms explored here, so we can just go straight forward. We don't need to go to that side room, especially considering it costs a shovel to get to. Basically, this offshoot and this offshoot will miss. The rest of them will go for. I don't know how many rooms it is to be 90%, but I think missing two should be the right amount. Okay, grab some more food if we can. Oh, that's a lot more food. Nice one. Really useful for us here. We need some scouting. Scouting would be great. Another treasurer. This is unprecedented. I'm really hoping we can get a stun right off the bat. Not on you. I literally did not mean to attack you, but we got the stun you anyways. That kind of works out, but still. Not what I wanted to do at all. Set up your repost. Kick to the face. We might have been able to get him if, uh, if we'd have actually hit then. Yeah, we would have done. That's really annoying. That is really annoying. I don't even think we'll be able to hit the back line anymore. I don't think we have anyone that can hit the back line apart from Joseph Air. That whip was nice though. No bleed, but the whip was good. 
Um, actually, we can do this. Oh, it didn't quite get him. Did do a lot of damage to this guy, though. That really helps out. Blanket fire for the repost. Unfortunate dodge, though. Joseph, can you finish this off for us? Um, I just realized we have another repost here, actually. Let's activate another repost. We should just go full repost on this. Everyone, everyone will repost. Get away is unfortunate there. I think we want to go for party heal here. Ah, he's got away. God damn it. Void Walker, why'd you have to miss? A decisive pummeling. Okay. 15 over 5. Get that going. The triple repost. Get his repost back up again. Good stuff. You're dead, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you're so dead. Vamos. Yep. Unfortunate, but predictable. Get a slice on you. And a stun. Lovely. And go for the kill. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Let's carry on going. Good scouting there. Let's carry on going this way. We want more food, so let's go for that. Not much more this time, but enough. Enough to carry us forward. And unfortunately, yet more courtyard enemies. They're getting more and more common. We must deal with them. Good hits across the board there. Go with one of them. And then go with one of them. And then go with one of them. Ah, that's a 13 crit as well. Great. And a bleed. Get okay, triple, triple, um, repost here should mean a lot of extra damage and bleed and all that sort of good stuff. Diminished. Unfortunate stun there, though, on our healer. Because this guy's, actually, we've got a lot of enemies on our, a lot of guys on our team that are marked. Bleed there again. Unfortunately, Voidwalker's taking a bit of the hits here. It's okay. He can deal with it. We'll definitely put up Mantra on the next turn if possible. Nice hit. Mantra's going to look real nice here. Unfortunate stun there as well. We're taking some bad stuns at the minute. I will say that. Yeah, let's definitely go with uh, Mantra here. Everyone heals up for, a, for about six. The guaranteed crit's also really nice. The skewer's coming in once again, but we do have that repurse. Do not stun him again, though. Thank you. We did bleed him, though. Kind of annoying. Well struck. Everyone's bleeding now. Everyone's bleeding. And that obliterates. Discombobulate. Might need to go for another mantra here, actually. Can you not heal off of us, please? Yep, he did. So, don't worry, though, because he's dead. Don't worry, because he's dead. Try and stun you, although it's unlikely. Yeah. We need another mantra up here. We do have a lot of minus damage at the minute, but we need it. Makes sense to me. Get Decay on you. And obliterate. it. Easy. They all fall down. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely so clearly in view? We're going to have to go down this way. Check out everything over this way. Hopefully we don't get too many more of those creatures. But you never know. Isaac's been doing his research. Been looking into what's going on. But the spreading corruption is uh, something that is hard to stop. Okay, we do have some annoying enemies here. But at least they ain't bloodsuckers. Ah, unfortunate dodge there. And that's a really nice opener, that. Really nice opener. It does do damage to Voidwalker himself, but I think it's a really good opener nonetheless. He needs that healing, so let's just go for that. Sets up our repost nonetheless. We're just going to set up repost across the board here, I think. All oh, the wheels going to uh, do some buffing, yep. Nice. 
We needed the heals nonetheless here. Another call to the wheel. These guys are gonna are gonna be a really hard to kill. They have 80% prot right now. We don't have any prot breaking skills. Yeah, these guys are gonna be tanky. I don't even know if the cicadas helps. Extra blight skill chance as well. Don't think any of these have armor piercing right now. I'm gonna go for this again. Remember, if we lower our HP, we get bonus stats. Or like bonus things on our uh, on our skills. Damn. The minus pro is really what I did that for, but obviously didn't do a lot of damage. I think we go with an infusion on there. It's gonna hurt stress wise, yep. This is a hard fight. This is this is definitely the hardest fight we've had yet, actually. Rend the marked is, yeah, that's going to hurt a lot. Spores coming in. More blight. The blight skill chance is hurting us. The light. The promise of safety. Definitely go for the crits on there. Double bleed. Very big bleed as well. Going to cut through that prop. Like a hot knife through butter. Death but that crit hurts. For the slightest lapse in that crit hurts. First of all, we need to get rid of that. That's hurting us so much. Go for Mantra. Unfortunately, Mantra doesn't heal us, though. And we're still stunned with Joseph as well, so... He's gonna be... It's gonna be a while before you get some heals. In fact, no, it's not. I'm gonna trade some HP over. Exactly for that reason. Just in case another one of them came in. Deafening Buzz again. God damn, these are some really, really rough enemies here. And we got a disease as well. Trail is taking a beating. The match is struck. Got more bleed on these guys. One of them's dead. Another crit. Kaminari is not looking great. Okay, good. Needed that heal very badly. Needed it again, to be fair. Everyone gets healed up as well. Oh my god. Molt? I don't know what that does. Oh, it heals you. They can call in troopers as well. Call in reinforcements soon, so we gotta be careful. You are dead next turn. You are molting as well. Obliterate, yes. We needed that so badly. Go for that. I'm just going to use you as a healer for now. We need it really badly. It debuffs you a lot, but the price we got up here. It is the price we got up here. Deafening buzz. That, the, the stress that we're getting from these buzzes is insane. And there comes the next cicada, of course. You are basically dead, yes. Okay, good. This has helped us out immensely. Nice one. Executed. Wow, that was a that was a tricky fight. We got a due tapestry for it though, so don't complain. Brought low and driven into the mud. Um, rearrange. Make sure you heal up a bit. Stress is bad, but otherwise we're okay. We got to go down to this fight as well. Hallway battling coming. Of course, I knew it was coming, but honestly, compared to the enemies we just fought, I might prefer to fight these guys. Apart from that stress that we're receiving. Again, go full repose on the team team's composition, I think. Nice hit. I might actually finish that guy off with Trell instead of going repose, you know. Getting one of them guys gone. Or you, actually, for that matter. Yeah. Beautiful. Then we go for the big cut on you. Nice amount of bleed on you as well. That's exactly what we needed for Trell's next turn. Should be able to get guaranteed kills here. More coming in. Good, good. Very blast of the stun. It's coming in. I know it's coming in. Yep. Joseph just can't not get stunned. He gets stunned every single time. 
Very annoying. We, we really need him as the backbone of this team. The healer um, just means a lot, and we're, we're, we're kind of losing out on him quite often. I'm going to heal you. It does give you some stress, but we need the heal. The weapon that cuts on its own. Right. Just you left. Dragon Tail Kick. Go for that for the bonus healing. And we got the Blight as well, actually. Very nice. Wasn't expecting that. No stun, though. God's sake, again, really? You're going to stun him one more time? Okay, that's not the stun attack. Beautiful. Beautiful strike. These nightmarish creatures right. can be felled. They can be beaten. Having a hard time at the minute, aren't we? A really hard time. We're getting through. Let's see what we have the, let's see what we have here. Victory. Okay, some maggots. They could be problematic. The surprise definitely helps. I think we'll just go for the kill straight away here. Nice. That bonus to healing. Trail, you can finish this thing off, can't you? There you go. That's them two gone at least. Just the parasite left. I knew you were going to do that, but I'll let you do it. Don't worry. I'll let you do it. Ow. Another ow. Two devours. You got three turns in a row, my little fella. What's going on? Okay, that's good stuff. Another decay on you. And a stun. Oh my god, this guy's got some high dodge. And he's got two health left. He's definitely going to be able to heal. Yep. I think consume gives him an extra turn, you know. Yeah, it does. And he's back up to full. God damn it. So annoying. Just die. Kick it right in the head. I don't know why that just healed everyone. Is that something to do with Mantra? Um, Dragon Tail plus two additional HP healed. Howling Fist, two additional HP healed. Yeah, interesting. Go for that then. There we go. Bit of a pain, but we got it. Remind yourself that overconfidence is the slow and insidious, and insidious killer. killer. I will. I always remind myself of that. Don't worry. I've got a trap coming back this way this time. I don't know how they managed to install it that bloody quickly, but they did. 70, 60, 50, 80. Thank you. Right. Making our way back up and around. Let's go. This has been a harder one today. Definitely been a harder one. We're finding some troubling tasks ahead of us, tr troubling battles, but this group, while very, very bizarre as, a, as, a, as far as groups go, is doing a very, very good job of staying together and making sure everyone's kept after. I think even people that don't like each other within our uh, hamlet are, uh, at this point, realise it's for the greater good. You have to tolerate the people you don't like, or even the, the abominations. Okay, we have some difficult stuff here. Difficult stuff. This this is probably the hardest fight we've seen so far. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if we take a death on this fight. This is a really hard battle right now. Did that to get through the stealth. This is a really hard battle right now. Um... We're just gonna go for you for the additional HP healed. I know we're not gonna get the Blight. Rend the Marks is the biggest problem for us right now, I think. Go for a Mantra. Good heals across the board here. You go for that. You need to repose there. You need to be getting that bleed across the board. Strike the Marks is another one there. Look at this thing. That has to be the coolest sprite work I've ever seen, but my god. Oh, oh god, this is bad. I knew when I saw this group of enemies this was going to be bad. Nice hit to the face there. And a heal across the board. Nice. 
Okay, nice. I didn't work. That, actually, that worked out kind of pretty poorly for us, really. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and a dodge as well. Are you kidding me? Why? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. We are going to take some absurd damage here. Especially considering Trail has to literally waste a turn just moving. Terrible. Don't move him as well. Ah! Why? This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> Should have uh, cleared my blight first. Oh well. I thought that I'd be able to get the kill, but this guy's just going to revive him, so it's not super useful right now. Oh, we missed as well. He's got 46 dodge. What on earth? This is trying times right now. Trying times. Groping swing's going to hurt. Yep. If that thing manages to blow up. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Healing prevented. Are you kidding me? And he got rid of the corpse I was going to use as well. We're dead. We are going to we are gonna end up losing a, a party here. Him moving you has, has already been bad enough. It's got so much health. Why has it got so much health? It's just a mushroom. Undergrowth. Oh my god. Oh, Trell, no. Sweet baby Trell. It's all, everything that we do here is gonna end up, um, end up hurting us. First of all, we need to get rid of that blight. I think we move you forward. I think we do, I think we have to. Come on, kill it. Oh, no. He got blight on him as well. Trell. Don't do it to Trell. He resisted. Good. Wow, that hurt and that was loud. No, Trell. No. Yes, Death Star resist. Okay. Okay. Get rid of them both. Trail, you got like one more chance, my dude. You got like one more chance. Of course. Of course. What? What do I do in this situation? Trail's just dead. This enemy's kind of bonkers. Like, Trail's just gonna die, right? Oh my god, Voidwalker. If you miss one more attack, I will stab you in the face. Dude, stop dodging! Oh, this is so frustrating. I just know he's gonna die. Why would you do that? This thing won't die! Time to perform beyond one's limits. This thing won't die and it's annoying me. Stop dodging! Oh my god! Okay, it's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, Trell. Please. We're so close, Trell. Just leave it be, you stupid monster. I know you're going to try it. Fuck me. That was stressful. My goodness. Wow. That was very, very stressful. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying. I think we should camp. That was very stressful. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Oh my god. Um Minus twenty five stress. A self only. We can we don't even need to do that on you. I think we definitely want to do that, even though it gives everyone a little bit of stress. I think we do this, and then what's your disease? 
Minus 50 bleed resist. Yeah, I think we do that because it removes his mortality debuffs as well. And then we go... Like that. Oh my god. Oh, fucking hell. Back up we go. Back up we go. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. Right, go over this way. Just got to make sure we focus down the right enemies next time. We kind of focused on the modded enemies because I thought they'd be more dangerous. And they really weren't that much more dangerous. Do you know what? We've got so much food. Let's heal everyone up. Yeah. Good. We needed that. Don't touch that. God damn it. You're stupid. Right, we're okay. We're okay. No battle there as well. That's fantastic. Another one of these could be good. It is indeed good. As long as we can disarm it, it's just a free stress heal. Holy jeebus. Holy jeebus. Push forward. And go for this. More food. We need it. Another disarm for the stress relief. That's so nice. Torches must be getting low. 14. We're actually okay. Another room without a battle is good for us. More food. Packs more healing. Loot are often low on supplies. And more of that. Good. God damn, I'm just reeling back from the stress of that last fight. Okay, the game's been kind to us. It's giving us a bunch of empty rooms, but that makes me fearful of what's to come next. And I was rightfully fearful. I was rightfully fearful. Gnawing uncertainty. The birthplace right. Of dread. So, we don't have any Loudenum anymore. Um, Let's set this up in a fire with the Repurst. Let's go full repost on this one, I think. We'll try and stun you straight away, though, because you got low stun res. Damn it. Definitely blight on you. Got the crit. Got a nice blight on him. 22 damage off the bat on you is great. Confusion spores. That, that was very confusing, because we're all out of sorts now. I mean, luckily, we're not terrible. This also isn't great. Move you to there. Doomsday doesn't repair, unfortunately. Stress is the biggest problem right now, obviously. Another stun, maybe? Ah, oh, goddammit. Go for another one of them. Building up the heal. Go for that. Good amount of bleed on you. Poison Spall's coming in, but that does give us the repurst, and that does heal everyone up. And again. Heals everyone up. And you're dead now to your bleed, so well done. Ah, really? A dodge on that? That's annoying. Especially because you've only got a turn now. More Doomsday coming in. Stress is in a bad spot. Don't even know why I went for him. He's going to bleed out. Bad idea. Got a nice kick on you. Oh, they didn't think about that. The Smackdown's coming in. Only 18. Bad, but not terrible. Another Doomsday. Oh my god. Leave us alone. That's good damage. And the stun this time as well. Great. Nice. You're dead next turn, I think, with Trell. 
Oh, another dodge. What's going on with the dodges? Why do people have 41 dodge? Insane. Right, good. Stress is problematic, but we're just going to have to deal with it. We're just going to have to deal with it. Right. You need to eat up. You need to eat up. Good. Right, push forward. Don't know why I did that. Just a few more rooms to go. Just a few more rooms to go. We're almost there. This has been the most stressful dungeon we've been through in a while. And of course, we get another bloody soothsayer. More horror. That's a guaranteed uh, thingy, unfortunately. That's a shame. Guaranteed stress check there. This time you hit, don't you? Good. No blight, though. No blight. Go for one of them. The escape cloud, that's not super problematic for us here. Go for the strike. Kind of weird how we crit this guy because he's got 50% prot. It only did the same damage as the crit on that guy. That's the normal damage on that guy, sorry. Noxious lunge. Taking a lot of damage here. Go for a hit on you with a stun, maybe. What's on a 50%? What chance does stun does this have? 105! Ugh. Mantra's needed here. War can be healed, but never hidden. Accusation coming in. Here we go. Here's the stress check. Confusion, nerves, and panic. Nice 11 heal. That's good. Rain of Blight coming in. There's another disease. Burn Break Fever's an annoying one too, if I remember correctly. Right, can it light up a little bit in here? Burn Break Fever, let remind me what you do. Ah, oh, yeah. Minus 10 damage, minus 4 speed's terrible. Especially considering he's a higher speed character. Putting through that prop with this bleed here. There we go. But yes! He's done it! Awesome. Thank you, Kaminari. Amazing. Amazing. We've got the epiphany. You just kick us in the nuts. You have an epiphany and you kick us in the nuts. Not very fair. We'll even heal you up for doing such a good job. Everything's so weak, but nothing's dead. This is frustrating as all hell. Maybe you should be very near to dead now as well. There you go. Very, very near. Yep, you're dead. Mark Prey. Even on a crit, that doesn't do too much to us. Although the stress is not great. i got to admit, stress is in a bad spot right now. You're dead as well. And you're dead too. Great stuff. Great stuff. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. A victory nonetheless. Indeed. Right, we've got one more room we have to clear, I think. Okay, this is good. Got that disarmed once more. Open up the sack. Here we go. Ah, we do have to do one more room. There's one more fight. One more fight that could put us in a bad spot. But we shall go into it with our heads held high and at full health. <laughs> Why wouldn't we go into it at full health? I mean, I'm even actually going to... Um, I was going to say I'm going to start by using holy water. Didn't get the chance. So let's take out these little cicadas first. Because we know those to be the most annoying things in the world. But if we can take out them first, we should. Decay on you. We did actually get the blight on him as well. Very nice. Even with an 80% chance not to. Can't do anything against that, so repose is our best option. One dead. 
great stuff. Second one's going down very quickly, I'd assume. Dead meat. Slightly annoying, but shouldn't be too bad. There's the bleed on you as well. Stack, we'll stack that on you. Call to the Wild is the problem here with that 20% prot. We're really hoping we could avoid that, but not always so easy. But you're almost dead, and you should be dead here. If Joseph didn't miss every attack ever. That's another repose coming in. Molt for that heal's annoying. We just did that amount of damage pretty much. He's rehealed it all. Oh my god. Let this be over, please. Nice kill. Very nice kill. Go with that. Plus the bleed. You're dead, but you could spawn a little fella. I just hope you don't. Of course you did. And we've got dead meat on us too, so it's going to deal additional damage to us. Let's go for a heal on you. One kick to the face and a hit, I think, should do it. Render the marks is going to hurt. Yep. Another bleed on you, though. Obliterate. Obliterated. Easy. Trail just is insane when he does that. And a few more hits on this guy should do it. In fact, that might have done it. That's done it, I think. Trail's going to be coming out of this pretty high stress, but we're coming out of it with a win nonetheless. Good, good. This should be the last room, right? And there it is. Return to Hamlet. My good golly gosh, was that a difficult one. Everything but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Really good reward out of all of that. Really good reward indeed. Um, And yeah, let's go and check. Windows and doors will be bolted. Tonight, something... First of all, let's check dark. this. The druid. I'm taking on a druid. That's really good for us. That's a new healer. So if anyone wants to write for the druid, please do go ahead. Stress relief. We need that. Although, didn't you get burn break fever? No, you've not, you're not the one with that. All right, trail. Good one. We haven't done any stress healing in a while, actually. Definitely getting rid of burn break fever. Definitely get rid of ghoul fever. And either way, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.